So with the boresight calibration, um, we make sure that the, the alignment of the LIDAR and the IMU is, is correctly done, um, as this will affect the, uh, the actual position of your images um, when, when doing a, a LIDAR survey. Um, with microdrones, it's uh, LIBAC, the LIDAR IMU Boresight Automatic Calibration Tool. The misalignment is, is com uh, computed automatically um, and the boresight angles can be applied to georeference the data set without any boresight uh, bias. So when there's a, a misalignment um, between the IMU and the LIDAR sensor, it could um, impact greatly on the result in different ways um, that could prevent the point cloud matching. With the boresight uh, calibration module within, within MD Infinity is extremely uh, user-friendly um, and uh, always available when needed by, by the clients. Right, as you can see on the, on the two images, um, the one on the left uh, before the boresight calibration was applied you can see the point cloud or the points in the point cloud is all over the place and obviously that's not going to give you very accurate results while on the right hand side after the, the boresight calibration was applied um, your point cloud is nicely on the points on the point cloud is nicely on top of each other and obviously that will result in, in very good results at the end of the day so if you want to update update your boresight calibration of your lidar sensor uh, we have a special flight plan um, that you fly and you gather LIDAR data. So after you have flown your special boresight calibration mission uh, utilizing our MD cockpit flight planning software, uh, you will then take the data uh, and post-process your trajectory like I showed you earlier uh, within this uh, workflow. Uh, you will then also take the raw LIDAR data and bring them both into um, the plan view of our boresight calibration module that you see here. That, along with your current boresight angles that will be inputted down here in the bottom. Uh, once you have, are done, uh, you click process uh, and the software will marry everything together and give you a new boresight calibration. Uh, your roll pitch and yaw angles that you can then bring into and utilize uh, moving forward uh, for post-processing your LiDAR data. Uh, here, it will also give you uh, a report letting you know uh, that was the new boresight calibration uh, is within spec. I would suggest that with each and every new project that uh, a customer takes on, you should do a boresight calibration. Um, just to make sure that your your results for that specific project is, is good and within specifications. Now, if we can look at, at uh, in, in, in the survey industry, um, uh, why it's so important using a boresight or to do a boresight calibration, is obviously your, your um, overlapping strips of your photos um, should, uh, should be good. Um, otherwise, your, your ortho um, photo at the end of the day is not gonna be a very good representation of what's actually on Earth. Um, in construction, uh, I would say um, it's very important, especially when surveying roads um, before and after construction, um, just to make sure that your your volumes um, is, is is correct, that you get paid for for what you've done uh, for earth that's been moved. Um, the final final levels of the road are within specifications. Um, and then on mining, I would say, um, especially when when surveying vertical faces in in, in open pits or open mines. If your boresight calibration is, is not correctly done or has, has, has not been done at all, your vertical face might not be in the in in the correct position um, according to the mine's design, and that could influence your volumetric calculations on on a daily or a monthly or weekly basis, uh, and that could be completely out, which obviously is going to uh, affect the production and also the payment at the end of the day. Um, that you're not going to get paid for what you've done. So yeah, it's extremely, extremely important to do a bore site calibration before each and every project that uh, that you take on again.